decir cosas no sé. Ok, welcome. Um, welcome to this live coding session. Uh, you can relax and we won't. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Magnar Sven. Uh, my name is Kristel Nyhansen. And we work in a small consultancy here in Oslo called Cool the Market. And uh, we have, like, we like to make screencasts for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> But we have made this Norwegian screencast, humbcelj.nl. And, um, and now we're making an English one, since we had to come here and talk in English. Yeah. Or, yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're launching uh, Parents <laughs> of the Dead, which will be our new screencast in English. And this talk will be your introduction to what we're doing there. So the idea is to build a web-based game from scratch. Um, not today, but in the screencast. Uh, and then we'll live code it and we'll argue about the details and then maybe it will be interesting for you to watch. So that's the basic <laughs> gist of it. Yeah. And today we already have a working game uh, to some extent and so we're going to build uh, one feature for you into this game. Yeah. So we have zombies. We have some hearts, we have some dice that you can roll. So let's say I want to punch this zombie really hard. I can, well, where's, where's this? I can lock this punching die and I can roll the other one. And I can lock this one and roll again. And then my real rolls are done. Yep. And I can click the zombie to punch it. And it punches back and then there's another mm -hmm. zombie and so on. More zombies, yeah. So <laughs> today we are going to add a simple feature, yep. I think, um, which are tips. Tips. Help the user understand the game as they're playing it. Basically tell the user what we just told you. Yeah. So let me show you some of the tips, maybe. Tips, tips, tips. So here are some tips. And this is Eden, which is a data format that's based on the closure. Yeah, notation. I guess I guess we forgot to mention that we're coding this in a programming language called Clojure. But if you know how to program, you'll be able to follow. Yeah, yeah. So these are maps, and these are keywords, which are basically like strings, except yep. they're not mutable. I don't. We don't have time to teach them Clojure. I think so. maybe not. <laughs> so here's here's one tip: zombies intro. And it's supposed to be positioned at the zombies, and there's a header, the zombies are coming. And we want to show this once there's a zombie on the screen. Yeah. So we have this function called kickstart the game. Yeah. Which has a, 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 a list of tuples of things that are going to happen when the game starts. So we set the round to one, we add a zombie, we set some player health, add some dice, set player rerolls, intentions, and then a random seed. Yeah. So maybe you'll recognize this as some sort of like stream of events. So uh, the basic idea here is event sourcing. All the functions that we call in our game create a list of events. This is the stuff that will happen. And then we can do things with those events to figure out how to update the UI or do other interesting things. Yeah, so, so let's look at it. Add a zombie, player health, and dice. These will all happen at the same time in the UI. Um, and then afterwards, you add the rerolls and the intentions. So take a look. When I re reload here, you can see that first all these things come, and then rerolls, and then intentions. The, the intentions is the thought bubble on top of the zombie. That's what he it's intends to do to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is sort of the description of the start of the game. Yeah, and this is the basic model for the game. But let's take a look at what we can do with this data. Because, so we're going to build tips into this uh, thing. Um, and tips are kind of orth orthogonal to playing the game. So the tips are not part of the rules of the game. It's just an add-on that we'd like to add. So we don't want our core game engine to know about the tips. We can. Uh, we can add them from the outside. So let me get over here, or maybe I can go in. Let's 
empty file. Here we go. Okay. So we have a bunch of events that look like this. And uh, we can do things with these events. We can, uh, for instance, we can build the game state. So we have a function called update game, and you pass in the current game state and one event. So maybe this event. And then when I evaluate it, it returns an updated game. Before we continue, okay, can you read this text that is on the screen? Good. Excellent. Uh, okay, so let's uh, try the other ones as well. So every time I call update game, it returns a new game with the updated state. So if I do this thing now, I will start with an empty game, and then I will update the game with the first event and then the second event. And it keeps adding stuff into my game. So our idea for this feature here is that we'll, we'll add an event here that um, after the zombie pops up, we'll add an event that says show tip. Show tip. Yeah. And then text something like that. Maybe you, maybe, let me, <laughs> let me try and, um, let me try and let create a test for us. Okay. okay yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. So we will do like um, add tips. That's the test. Yeah. And we will do a system under test. That's S U T. Add tips. And uh, we have already written this placeholder code. Yeah. Which is just returns the events as is. So it has the signature game tips and events. Um, so add tips first game nothing, and then the tips. So yeah. and the tip, this is the list of available tips. Like what are all the possible tips that you could possibly want to show to the user? Yeah, because we have like this uh, big pile of tips here. That's sort of the the real tips, but I don't think we want to use these ones in the tests. No. Why not? Why not? Because this is the content for our game. We don't want the tests to break when our content developer, who is sadly not here today, changes <laughs> the text in our tips. <laughs> Something so like that. Yeah. Basically, we want the tests to uh, speak for themselves, right? That makes and we don't sense. also we don't need all the details about the tests either or the tips. So. Mongo is now just picking out the ID for a few of them, because the ID is enough for us to see what's going on in the tests. Yeah. So I'll, I'll create a list. This the I'll evaluate this and this, and then we'll do test tips. Yeah. Those are those two tips. Yeah. So now we have some test tips that these, these two. So we will add the test tips to our test, and then a list of events. Yeah. And you had that those earlier somewhere. Is it this one? Here. Yeah. Okay, so these three tips. And when I when if I if I run this code now, I will just get these events straight back. Yeah. No so now we want to enrich that list of of events with an event that includes the tips that are relevant for the situation. Yeah. So basically, I want to test that after set round, there's nothing. No. After there's added a zombie, I want to show the tip that's the zombie's intro tip. I think it says top. show top. <laughs> that's a different thing. <laughs> it's very inappropriate. <laughs> show tip is also so, sort of in inappropriate. So <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is my test. And yeah, we have your test doesn't make any sense because why is the zombie's intro tip after the add zombie? Yeah, uh, there certainly isn't anything here that will tell us that it should be there. No? Oh, I agree. <laughs> so <laughs> let's we'll, we'll comment this test now. Okay. Okay? And we will think about it. Uh, because, okay. Um, so basically, this is a goal this of the is entire a talk. Goal so for the talk. Yeah. We, will, we, will, uh, we will have to do it in smaller chunks, I think. That's better. Yeah. Okay. So once we evaluate this and we have actually added the zombie, we have like this map of zombies with their ID and then the zombie details. Mm -hmm. So I would like to, I would like for this tip to be shown, let's call it trigger, whenever there exists 
something on zombie zombie one. Right. Is that okay? Evaluate the game again so we can see. Okay, because so you have a, a map here and you have zombies and inside it is a zombie one. So when the first zombie arrives, I want to show this tip. Yeah. And this syntax here, zombie zombie one, that's a path. So I can do get in and that's the path and they will there was, <laughs> there was nothing there. That's interesting. It's really because I wrote it wrong. This is why we do these things. Zombies. Zombies. You probably also want to update your test trigger. Totally agree. Totally agree. So it's very useful to have a REPL to try these things out in. Yeah. It's also useful to have an audience because someone over here caught it before you. Really? Just saying. Wow. Yeah. Well done. So maybe the take home from this talk is that you should have an audience <laughs> when you're doing your work. That, w that sounds very useful. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to do set player health, and it turns out you get a player with some health. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I will try, I will write the path first this time, player, health, and yeah, there it is. There it is. So, so, there's, so there's my path for the trigger for player health intro tip. So these tips have the same kind of trigger, but for different types of data. Yeah. Okay. So this is something we can work with. Right, let's um, let me write a smaller test than the one we had before. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. Mm, names are difficult. So we have a function called something something applies to. Uh, just call it triggered. Aha, triggered. Triggered. Trigger, are you triggered? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I need to pass in a tip yep. and a game probably. <laughs> and maybe, what about the events? Do we need the events or the game? We need the game. We need the game. Because we, we passed in the path to the game. So, but uh, let's, let's do not the tip, but the actual trigger. Yeah, okay, we'll pick the trigger. Because we only need the trigger to figure out if it's triggered, not really the entire tip, yeah. yeah. So like this, if it's empty, then it should not be triggered. Is yep, sure. uh, false. And then I can do, or null, okay, yeah. No such var, suit triggered. Yeah, so there's function no. Function doesn't exist. The function doesn't exist. That's easily amended, I would hope. Let's try it. So we'll do triggered, and it receives a trigger mm -hmm. first. Are you happy with that? No. No? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> OK, I will switch these around. So for those of you who don't code a lot of Clojure, um, Clojure has very specific conventions for uh, function signatures. Especially if you're working on a map, then usually all the functions in the core of the language takes the map as the first argument. Yep. And if you have a sequence, then usually it's the last argument. So. OK, look at the bottom of the screen. It's green. Green means all the tests are happy. So I will now try a true one, and then there should be something at zombies, zombie one. Okay? And I will do this. Mm -hmm. So this should fail. It's not true. It's not true. So, okay. So what to do, what to do? I'll do get in game. Um, Oh, no, no, no. Maybe you should do match? I can do, I can do match, okay. Can we pull it in? I can't pull it in. Hmm. Require, uh, so um, we're gonna use a, li a library now called closure core match, which is a simple pattern matching function. So we can use that to match on the trigger. So I'll match the trigger and I'll say, if it looks like this, exists, and then something, path, then I just want to get in with the path, and I'll do boolean, so I get true if there's something and false if there's nothing. And then boom, the test is green again. Very nice. Very nice. So. Is trigger done? <laughs> it says yes or no. I th yeah, it's pretty good. I think what if there's no trigger? What if there's no trigger? We can try. So if it says uh, there's a game and the trigger is nil, then what happens? It should be false. Yeah. It's going to be boom. Yeah, and that's because match is very strict with us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the pattern matching function throws an exception if 
it encounters a unmatched. Yeah. yeah. So if it's nil, if the trigger is nil, then return false. Oh, excellent. It's a good in again. So Very good. now we have uh, the test to check if um, a tips should be triggered. Mm -hmm. So now we can answer the question that you so rudely interrupted me with. <laughs> um, how do you even know that show tip should be here? Yeah. And here. And that's because add zombie adds the zombie to the game and then the tri it, it triggers. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Um, so what's the next step? Um, so let's see if we can add one tip maybe to a list of events. Yeah. Should we do like, okay, okay. Um, we will do, we will do add tips because there could theoretically be more than one tip more for than one, one tip one for the same thing right for uh, a that single would be event really annoying <laughs> it would uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah ui ui it's okay that's yeah. true so if you, let's let's take a look at that um how should that look i will do add tips for events mm -hmm. and it would have to you'll need the game i will again. need the game i will need the tips again yeah test tips test tips test tips, <laughs> test tips. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. and Very one good. event so I will start with set round. Yeah. Because there should be none. There should be no tips. Right. So my expectation is it would then have to return a list of events because it might have added tips to it. Yeah. So there is none added yep. right now. So okay. here we go. That doesn't work. So we'll add another function then. Uh, in what in the world? OK. You have to type stuff out. <laughs> this is beneath me. <laughs> Game, uh, tips, and event. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it just returns the event wrapped in a nice little vector. So then I'll write Did a you much evaluate it? Did you uh, is it green? Like you said before, look at the e <laughs> bottom of the screen. Come on. Oh, I was looking it's at green. that. It's green. It's so green. I'm sorry. I'm going to add uh, another test, which will be much more difficult for you, mm -hmm. because it will be... Um, it's down there. Yep. It's here we go. Yep. It will be this one. So now we add the zombie mm -hmm. and then Do you just like shave it off some of those details? Uh sure. Just add the zombie. Yeah. Okay, and then uh when that happens, we'll also get a show tip ev event here. Yeah, and that's the zombies intro tip. Uh, that's the zombies intro tip. Mm -hmm. Which looks like this. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, that's not how it works right now. I'll just remove this as well. <laughs> Are you setting me up for failure? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. It's much more fun for them <laughs> if you flail around a little bit. That's true, yeah. that's true. Um, okay, so now I have to actually have to code something. Yeah. It's amazing how long <laughs> we went without coding stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, Okay, I Did have you try to try an if or something. Or <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that's coding. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do triggered on. Well, there's lots of tips, so I have to filter somehow. I have to filter the tips to find which tips I want. It, it wants to find the triggered tips. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. The snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tips to show. Okay. Filter um, triggered. Okay, so it needs a game. It and the game, game that you have passed me is an empty map. Yeah. And that's because actually if you apply that event first. <laughs> right. You remember the thing we did down here? Update game. We have to do that. We have to create a new game with the after the event has been triggered. Right. So we will do game. Because what game. you're getting in here is what the game looks like now and then an event that we're about to apply. So yeah. in order to find out if we need to trigger tips, we'll apply the event first. Yeah, so this is, we get a new game back and we will check if this these tips have been triggered in this context. So it's a new game and then, and then it's the trigger of the tips. <laughs> the tips like this. Mm -hmm. And if we have any, well, regardless, we can do into this vector that we already have we will have some tips to show. And they will have show tip tip tip. Why is this not happy with me? Because uh, uh, the into is not inside the left. 
Exactly. You're writing Lisp, so you'll need to nest stuff in parentheses. Excellent. Yeah. Tooling helps. <laughs> great. OK, it's green. Test is green. Good. So that means that the tip is now being added if it's been triggered. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I'm just trying to think of something that would break this. Because I could add the tip for the other tip, but I don't think that would actually break it. No? Hmm. Maybe it's time to do this one? Uh, seems yeah. It just seemed a bit too <laughs> easy. <laughs> okay. But could we possibly try this at this point, or is it too early? No, we can try. We just have to implement add tips. We even need to implement add tips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead. So I will do this. And let's take a look at it. It says there are no show tip. Mm -hmm. It's in red. So that's great. Um, <laughs> Here we go. That seems like a tall order. Um, so I have a function that can add tips for a single event, and I have multiple events. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to think this map something. Map cat something? Whatever. Maybe map cat even, because this function produces a list for each thing, mm -hmm. and I want them all to be in one list. Mm -hmm. So I will use map cat add tips for event, mm -hmm. and then I have to pass it all its arguments, which is the game. And the Tip. tips, and then finally the event. Mm -hmm. Is this all? I think that's <laughs> it. <laughs> if that's your total order. Have we forgotten something? Oh, yeah. But I think we can actually show the tips now. OK. OK. It, it just won't be excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to show anything that is not excellent. <laughs> then okay. we shouldn't be up here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. Okay, shots fired. <laughs> so you're saying I can just uh, refresh here? Yeah, let's try that. That's cool. Because there are no tips, and I know uh, why. I know why. I know why. You know I why? know why. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we have, so these are our test tips. Mm -hmm. They are very cool, and uh, but our production database over here don't have any triggers. Mm -hmm. That's not so cool. We even went out of our way to make tests with uh, tips without tests not complain <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah so I'll add a trigger to this one mm -hmm. I think maybe that's enough that's enough yeah okay. we can have one test and wow <laughs> excellent now I'm starting to remember ah. okay so there are okay oh we're not ready at all we're not ready at all <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what in the world is happening what's happening is that um, Let's remove this Sh one again. Show them. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, you okay. Just show them the show them the error. It's update game. Yeah. So it's update game. No matching clause. Show tip. Yeah. Because all the events that are being produced go through the update game function inside our game machinery. So uh, uh, one quick solution for now could be to just add something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the match. In the just match. Just just don't do anything. Where's my update it game? It's right there. There it is. Here it is. So uh, it was uh, show tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. This list is alphabetical. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Show tip, tip, mm -hmm. and it just returns the game. Yeah. It does nothing. No, it does nothing. So now we should get a new error message. So is that a new error message? It says actionize. Okay. okay. So this part we didn't talk about yet. So update game is whatever uh, is the function that takes the events and then updates the state on the server. But Somehow it needs to go to the client as well. Mm -hmm. And that's where actionize comes in. So for each event, we can create a bunch of actions for the client. Yeah, the client is very, very dumb. Yeah. Let, let's show them all, all of the client. Mm -hmm. So this is the everything the client knows how to do. It yeah. knows how to associate in, which means just store this piece of data, this path. It knows how to take things away with this up. And it knows how to wait for a little while. Yeah, this and is this is all the logic that is actually on running on the client. Yeah. So in, in addition to the components. So the rest of the uh, logic is on the server. The server gets events, computes a combination of these three messages, and sends them to the client. And then there are some components. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to turn it into probably a, a, a search in then. Yeah. Uh, just go to the actionizer test. 
because mm -hmm. events turns into action. That's the action of actionizing. <laughs> in case you were wondering, I about think that. everyone is familiar with actionizer. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so uh, we can add a test for that. Uh, so we have this function called event to actions. Just take a look at that first because it's very interesting. It, says it takes one event and it outputs a set of actions. Mm -hmm. And you see this is a set player shields event and it associates something into the dice that it's being used. It associates the player shields and then waits 500 milliseconds and then it associates that the dice have been used. Yeah. So these are sort of the these are the things that the client needs to, uh, to worry about when, when yeah. showing like the animations and so on. Yeah, and the wait is here in order to trigger animations at the proper times. Yeah. So or wait for them to screw finish. Screw that, show tip, and then there's a... Um, ID foo! ID, yeah, foo, whatever. Mm -hmm. All I want to know now is that this turns into a search in... Tips? Tip. Tip. It's just one tip it's at a time. It's just one tip at a time. One tip at a time is more than enough. And not there, outside. Ah, mm -hmm. path and then the value to add. So this is the instruction for the client, basically. If we if we just do this, then the tip will be there in <laughs> perpetuity. <laughs> and it that doesn't sound so good. So okay, so maybe so we'll wait, we'll wait a bit. Uh, we'll wait for f five seconds, and then we'll uh, remove it again. Okay. Are you happy now? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you? I'm unhappy because I think five seconds, people are going to go nuts waiting five seconds. Uh, okay, so two seconds. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And Welcome to our talk where all our, our visual demos are two seconds long. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. And, <laughs> and I, I fix your stuff <laughs> before I write the test. I'm sorry. Oh. It's Mr. Nice. I'm, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a hard collaboration to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to need the actionizer. Yeah. And we have. So, so this is kind of this is on the back end, but it really is the client logic, but it lives on the back end and happens on the back end. Yeah, we're just sending like these small instructions to the client. Yeah. So I will paste this in, and this is the tip, and that should be it. It's kind of terrible. You think it's terrible? All the other ones are one line. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Now we should, I hopefully, no error message. Yeah. But you, but you think we're going to get a tip? Ta da! <laughs> yes, because uh, so, okay, so <laughs> there is something more to the so client yeah. than we have been putting I did, on. I did actually mention it. So. <laughs> This is all the client knows how to do, but it also, of course, knows how to render things. And <laughs> we haven't told it how to render tips. So it did wait for two seconds. <laughs> this is your tip. Here we go. <laughs> and here's the rest of the game. Now figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, we have some components here, actually, that just get the current state of the, the game and renders DOM elements. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a cheat sheet for this. Oh. We have a cheat sheet for this one, um, which looks like this. So this is just an outline of the class names that the CSS file provides for us. So we don't have time to implement the CSS as well. But as you can see, there's a page. And then all the way to the bottom, we can put the tip. Mm -hmm. So here's my page. And it says div.page. And then all the way to the bottom, I can put a div.tip. If there is a tip. If there is a tip. So we'll just destructure the tip up here. Mm -hmm. Tip. And then I'll say when tip, tip, tip. Mm -hmm. And then yep. here are more details about the tip. There should be a tip box. And at zombies, at dice. So this is the position. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If you remember the tips from before, it says here position at zombies. So we can just use the position key from the tip map. Yeah. So class, uh, position, position tip. tip. Yep. There we go. And then inside the tip box, there is a, uh, uh, I can't type, tip arrow. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> and then a header. Tip header. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. The next one will also be wrong. <laughs> tip <laughs> rows. Ah, I did it. Okay, what's the, um, let's look at the data. It says 
Oh, there's, oh, there should be something in the header. Mm -hmm. Header from tip and then I can see what to do with the names there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That should render a tip, mm -hmm. don't you think? I think it should. So let's try it. Oh, the zombies are coming. Yes, two seconds is perfect. I, I, I agree. <laughs> 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 you have enough time to read the heading. That should be good enough for everyone. Yeah. yeah. OK, so, so the zombies are coming, and then? Yeah. Focus on the third sentence now. Third <laughs> sentence, right? <laughs> You've also seen three others never. OK, yeah. Point taken. <laughs> <laughs> but did you notice there's something else going wrong? If the, uh, let's try playing the game. So mm -hmm. I'll and, uh, that is actually excellent I don't advice. Oh. <laughs> I see why two seconds is enough now. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps reminding me of this. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because this doesn't seem ideal. I think maybe it was more fun to play the game before this changed. <laughs> At least now I know what to do. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> if they read the tip fast enough. <laughs> so um, from the looks of this, it's probably deciding to show us the tip every time there's a zombie available on the game. Yeah. That's a bit much. Because that is all the time. Yeah. Um, we no, have no. There are two initial events without it. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that's very true. Yeah. So let's try and, because there's not, zombies are coming. Yeah. And then, and then the zombies, zombies are, are coming, coming again. again. Mm -hmm. Actually, they've already arrived. But yeah. So I would like to, uh, try and capture this error in my tests. Yeah. So it's tips test. And I would suggest if you are ever doing this yourselves, try and not use tips and test. <laughs> They're two. <laughs> it's almost impossible to know if it's yeah. tips test or tips, tips test. Or, um, so yeah. Very profound takeaway. So yeah. have an audience when you work yeah. and don't mix test and tip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, there was no indication that they would learn anything today. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's right. That's right. So okay. these are just bonuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so game uh, test, we have, it's this one that's messing up with us because we're setting the intentions for zombie number one. Yeah, and, and that will show uh, it again. Recreate the zombie somehow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I do this, we add the zombie and then we set the intentions. Both of those are going to do stuff <laughs> to the zombie one. To the zombie one. Yeah. Shows Tip zombies intro tip. And this is what I would like to happen, mm -hmm. but it probably won't. Uh, add tips, no duplicates. Maybe like this. Okay, so here we have actually reproduced it because it now says there's an extra show tip. Yeah, no and good. And we don't want that. So, okay. Let's go take a look at our code then. Um, Obviously, we're never removing anything from the tips list. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I agree. Um, because we're just map catting. Yeah, we're just map catting. So from each pass to the next, it's we don't really have an opportunity to do anything with the tip list. Yep. So that tells me maybe we should replace it with some kind of reduction. Yeah, we need to like thread the game through and keep uh, the track of which tips we've shown and so on. Yeah, because now we're updating the events list, but we also need to update the list of available tips mm -hmm. and possibly also the current state of the game. Yeah, I, I think so. So, okay. So if this is going to become... But before you do it, mm -hmm. maybe um, make the gr tests green so that you can refactor into a reduction without adding new features. You think I can do that now? Yeah, because you can just add the show tip <laughs> to the second one. <laughs> and then the tests are green. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're happy? And then we can just refactor it to a reduction. I've done, as you said, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so, okay, you want to refactor with green tests. Yeah. I understand. I'll take this away and... Uh, I don't I think that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as always, I understand what you mean too late. So... Reduce something, something, something. So, yeah, you're going to have to change the add. Yeah, uh, we'll have to change this a little bit. So, with reduce, you always get the thing that's being reduced, like which is some kind of result, and then you get an event like this. Mm -hmm. So, but now I want to update uh, all these things. 
So my result will be a map, I think, with my game, the remaining tips, and possibly also the remaining event. Let's call it result. Result. No, okay. Um, so I'm sorry. Um, I, I just meant the ah, things that yeah. we will ah, finally it's return. It, it's not these events. It's the events that we're producing. Yeah, exactly. Very good. So then we need to also pass in something that looks like that. So we'll start with uh, uh, the... Um, no. No. This is the thing that we're reducing. Events. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the game and all the tips. Mm -hmm. And the result is initially empty. Yeah. And then here uh, we have game, tips, event, and then we want to, we need to return the same kind of map from here. I think maybe the... I think maybe you should rewrite add tips for event yeah. and just remove the tests for it. Yeah. So we, okay, we add a test for this function just to kind of get it on, on its feet. We don't need it anymore. Do you no. agree? I agree. Yeah, let's, uh, let's if you're going to remove it, you <laughs> just have to trick it a bit. I have to trick it a bit, so just pretend you didn't see this. <laughs> it's, it's quite, <laughs> yeah. it's a bit raffle tricky. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so this will take a map now with some keys. Yeah. Game, tips, and result. the event is on the outside, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then a res result like mm -hmm. that. Okay, so now we have the game, We have, and then it needs to return something like that. Mm -hmm which is the new game. And then the tips needs to be the tips to show. No, no, no. it needs to be the tips that's without these. Not now. Not now. Because that's why I wanted you to have green tests. Aha, I see. And okay, then you and can then do result. my result is uh, this. Um, do you have to do it to the, resu the, the, the result that you already have and conge the result onto it? <laughs> oh my god. This will not be, yeah. Something like okay, that. Okay, yeah. Then here, and then here, and then why it's am I getting the result because here? Because uh, you should just call ah. add tips for event directly. Uh -huh. Just raise it up. Yeah. There you go. Raise, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> not going to sing. <laughs> Start singing. <coughs> okay, so what happened now? Well, uh, I'm sure glad we had some green tests. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just yeah, have I to yeah. pick so out the result. Because when we're done with the reduction, we don't need the whole map of stuff. We just need the uh, result. Yeah, result. Yeah, I think that and should I be it. And I want to do it like this. Okay. And now I still don't have green tests because I have a superfluous show tip oh here. Oh yeah, you do. Why did you get a superfluous tip? Because uh, now we're accumulating the game state and it always has zombies. It's true. Yeah. So, so you can actually fix that. Fix? But... <laughs> Changing this into game instead of new game. I think you should add green tests now. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. Perfect. My tests are helping me fail. <laughs> <laughs> so just remove the show tip now, and you can I can fix the, yeah, the okay. rest part of it. Yeah. There we go. Because now we are back to the test that we were intended to have, uh, where there shouldn't be extra tips. No. And if you're watching this and thinking this is a bit of a mouthful, and reductions usually are. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Professional set work. <laughs> um, uh, so I will remove the set of tips to show from tips. Seems about right. Sweet. That was it. So let's try. Zombies are coming. You still don't have to read it, though. No, that's okay. We've seen it so many times now. Yeah. Well, and now I can start uh, doing stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because what we have done now <laughs> is we have removed the tips as we're showing them. Mm-hmm. But the next time you do something, anything, we start over with the same list of tips. Yeah. So we no don't remember between passes which tips you've already seen. Yeah. So that's the next. That's the next task. Um, and yeah, I can. Um, I can do. Can you recreate that in a test? Yeah, for sure. I, um, I I'll have to cheat a little bit because I'll see. I, um, don't add tips I've seen. <laughs> That's nice. And I will just add Ooh. shown tips. Okay? Yeah. And it's the ID of the zombies in show tip. I have to see, uh, say, uh, I, I, I'm used to seeing question marks in, in names, but now you put a quote mark in <laughs> there. 
You think it doesn't work? It's bothering work? me a little bit. Is it? Uh, no, it's okay. Is, is, is this better? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in any way. But is this better? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> is this better? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. Also, now I see it says don't without the. Yeah. It's true. Uh, I would not. Uh, I, would rate, I, I would rate the test name very poorly. <laughs> 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 but anyway, you were doing something important. Yeah. yeah. Do not I thank you. I thank am you. doing something <laughs> important. Okay, so it shows the tip even if I've already shown it. That's no good. Nope. So, where did you put it? I was it's too, in the ga <laughs> I was too <laughs> busy picking on <laughs> details. Um, yeah, it's in the game. It's shown tips in the game. Shown tips in the game. Here it is. <laughs> and it's just the ID. Yeah, right. Okay. So that means that uh, is somewhere in here. In add tips. Put it in add tips. Add tips here. here. So mm -hmm. we want to remove um, the set of shown. It's already a set. Yeah, but what if it's not? <laughs> okay. If it's if there is no shown tips, like in many of the ah. other tests. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Game. Okay. That still didn't fix it though. Oh, that's because it's just the ID. It's just the ID. Mm -hmm. So, ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Comp ID. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So, would you want to explain comp? <laughs> It's I told you we don't have time to teach <laughs> these people closure. Anyway, mm. uh, so comp actually picks out this, or it calls the functions from right to left. So it calls ID on the tips, or sorry, on the tip, and mm -hmm. it matches it against this set of IDs. Mm. Cool. So, yeah, I uh, regret doing that, but it, it won't it won't work yet because we have to actually accumulate the shown tips. Right. And then so we if I hit this one. I still get the tip. Yeah. Because the um, Shown tips list is not being built. That's right. And so the place to do that is where we build the state of the it game. Yep. Okay, so then I'll head over to my game test or our game test. Mm -hmm. So here we have a bunch of tests for that takes an event and takes a look at what the game state looks like afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I'll just add a test to the bottom here. Uh, dev test, um, sh show tip. Mm -hmm. uh, test or whatever and then okay so <laughs> system under test yeah um, update game update game and the game could be empty for all I care mm -hmm. and then it receives this event that says show tip ID foo mm -hmm. and then what I expect to happen is that shown tips is a set of foo excellent no, or Fooks. or fooks, like the cow yeah. say. That's <laughs> oh, I, I was going to say that's <laughs> what the fox actually says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> fooks. <laughs> that's how we got its name. So yep. learning stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, update game. So we have show tip already, it except yeah. it doesn't do anything. It doesn't now do anything. It should update the tips. No, shown tips. Shown tips. And I'm gonna use Fnell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to explain yeah. what Phil does? <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what this contraption does, so uh, this is very hard to <laughs> explain. <laughs> <laughs> update, basically updates shown tips. And when Mongo uses it with conj, it means put this thing into the existing collection. Mm -hmm. And then Fnil says that if there is no collection already, yeah, initialize it to an empty set. Yeah. It if nil, if nil, <laughs> if nil. nil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's weird. Yeah. It just ensures that uh, the collection becomes a set. So now our update game events will actually keep which tips have been shown. Yeah. So now I think this will be the last time you don't have time to read that tip. Mm -hmm. Because now I can actually do this. Yay! Hooray. Excellent. So I. A little applause wouldn't be uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pit pity applause. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so but there are a few few details we could work out still. Yeah, for sure, because it would be kind of cool to like go into the tips and add some more triggers, mm -hmm. because so we can have two seconds to not read more tips. 
I think we can also fix that. I okay, just yeah. want to do player health. Yeah. And save this file and just reload <gasps> your health. Aha. Uh -huh. ah, that's, that's very cool. cool. Um, okay. So just by adding the trigger, the tip just showed up in a running game. Yeah. Wow. Let's do that again. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so if there exists any dice, I want to show this one. Okay, let's lock this. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. Okay, um, so two seconds, not enough? Not enough. No? Would be nice if I could close it when I've read it. That's fine. Um, I will do um, actionizer. Mm -hmm. And instead of waiting two seconds, I will wait 20 seconds. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, wait for event, maybe? Yeah. Should we wait so for some event? Yeah, so we'll have to teach the client this because the client doesn't really know how to wait for anything other than two seconds. Yeah. yeah, it just has wait milliseconds. Yeah. It has here. as assault, disassault, and wait. So now we're we're going to teach you something new. Wait for me to say that I'm finished with this thing. Yeah. So uh, uh, hide tip. That can be an event, okay? Yeah. Sure. And I also want the tip to have an action to actually so to hide the tip. That okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, there you go. Okay. So. Um, yes, it did. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still not very pleased with it. <laughs> I'm going to do show tip, mm -hmm. and then tip maybe just tip, yep. yeah, and then like this tip, and there we go. Okay, so we'll wait um, for event, mm -hmm. and you call it high tip, I think. High tip. Okay, and then I want to search action to this one. It says. Uh, Hi tip. Hi tip. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's green. Okay, so now the backend will send this to the client, which will probably burn in eternal hellfire because it doesn't know what to do with this. That's right. Yeah. So um, yeah, should I fix it? <laughs> yeah, please. Because um, yeah, uh, we let's just start with something simple. We need to do on click. Mm-hmm action so that we have an event yeah and this <laughs> is probably worth explaining because it's just data mm -hmm. but the thing that we're using to render this will take data for a event handler and just emit it on an event bus mm. and then we can listen for it somewhere else we don't have to put a bunch of functions into the components that's right this way our components are nice and stupid so if you ever used go these are Go routines. If you've ever used Core Async, these are channels. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've ever used something else, it's basically async await, yeah. I think. Yeah. But the channel is some place that the two threads can meet, sort of. So I'm creating a channel, a meeting place, and I'm waiting for, for, for it before I'm going to recur and do the next actions. Mm -hmm. And before I start waiting, I have to notify the event bus that I would like to wait for this event. And when I get it, I'm going to close the channel. So when the channel closes, this wait will stop and will it will recur. Does yeah. this look right to you? Uh, probably, but I am on stage with people <laughs> in front of me, so... At least it no longer... Yeah, now... Now you can actually read it. Have you all read it, finally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. So then I will click it. Try clicking. Oh, okay. And then here's another tip. How excellent. You and the undead. Perfect. And then we get more tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. This is pretty good. So, yeah. Maybe we're done. Maybe we're done. Who knows? Yeah, we added a feature. Yeah. Uh, was it a, a, a tennis ball or was it a... <laughs> T-shirt uh, size. T-shirt We'll size. play poker for it later. Yeah. But okay, so I want to add one more feature. Mm -hmm. One more feature. Okay. Because we have more tips. We do. And we only show one kind of trigger. And we ah. have this cool system, so we want to build a different kind of trigger. Okay. So look at the other ones. You've got two re-rolls. Ah. Um, do punching a zombie. Punching it's a zombie. punching time. Okay, so in order for this tip to make any sense, 
I have to be able to make punches. I think that's maybe too uh, ambitious now. Maybe you just check that you've used both your rerolls. Okay. Always scoping down my ideas. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, equals? Uh, yeah, equals. So something so, uh, at. Something at. What does a game look like? Yeah. Come on, game. Game test. What you look like? <laughs> Try um, <laughs> used rerolls. Try searching for that. Uh, used re. Here yeah, we go. There okay. Is. It's on player. Player used player rerolls. Player used rerolls. Okay. Player used rerolls. And if those are two. Yeah, if you used both your rerolls. Yeah, then we'll show this one. Yeah. Should we do a question mark on equals since exists yes, has it? Yes, we should. Okay, so let's just quickly get this in place. Mm -hmm. Tip test. So we have this um, triggered yep. thing here. Mm -hmm. yeah, so is true triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a hurry because the other room is empty. Uh -huh. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, triggered, and then, okay, what does the game look like when this happens? Player, player and then used rerolls two. Mm -hmm. Cool, and we get quick mm. fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's complaining about missing a clause for equals, mm -hmm. and it's in the tips, tips code here. Here we have equals, and then there's a path, and then there's a value, and from what I can tell, it's always true. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Mm. Come on. We actually do, yeah. because those I know, people I know. quit early. Okay, so if you've just used one reroll, then it's false. Then it should be false. Now get out of my oh. way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So equals, uh, still just get in game path. This is quite simple stuff like this. Hey, nice. And I think you can actually now just play, play more. use those two rerolls. Mm -hmm. No real. Better get some uh, fists then. I'll yeah, keep this one. I'll keep this one, yeah. All right, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's punching time! The look, it's too early. Yeah, it's a bit too early, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> 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 we actually had to check something else. Yeah. We should probably check that it's the end of the round, uh, the end of like the animation okay. stuff going on. Um, I, I think I know how to do that. Should we also do it with the time we have left? Are we going to do that? Yeah. You, yeah? Sure. Okay, sure. Should. I think, and we this we is. We can't end on a broken feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> a terrible place to end. I see. Okay, we, I'm going to have to explain just a little bit because we're going to have to look at how reroll dice works. So we have reroll, and reroll does roll, and roll does set seed. Uh -huh. And this is the final thing to happen. Because after, after you roll the dice, you want a new seed, so the next roll will be a different roll. Exactly. Otherwise, yeah. the game will be very boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are going to have to do some funky stuff. Uh, we will actually have to do, OK, let me try. Okay, I'll type out the trigger first. Mm -hmm. um, we will actually have to do an and. Right, because we, we need to check two things. Yeah, and yeah. I want to check that it, the event, the current event, is of type set seed. Uh -huh. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Current event type. Is that okay? Uh, not with a question mark. No or question mark? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, set seed. That's the current event type. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to start here and do true. And maybe at this point, we no longer have time <laughs> for uh, the, the yeah. TDD shenanigan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're going to do. Also have to change the, uh, the game. Yeah. OK, so and exist zombies. This is an ambitious last moment. Uh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, the, the we don't have the player health one? OK. Uh, let's then do and exist zombie 2. And I will do zombies, zombie 1, zombie 2. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Yeah, sure. So no matching clause for and. Uh, that should be, um, let's see. So 
and there will be uh, expression one, expression two, and you have to do triggered yeah. again. Then th we have to do. Um, come on, triggered game. E one. Mm -hmm. And uh, number two. Here we go. Yeah. So our ant supports only two clauses. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's for now. Good enough for now. Yeah. And then we need the other one for the event. Which yeah, this function uh, doesn't accept. No, oh yeah, we have, we have to change the <laughs> signature of the function as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Uh, okay, so the trigger is a current uh, event type uh, foo. Foo. Mm -hmm. And then foo, true. Mm -hmm. We don't, yeah. You That's yeah. what we have time for now. It's okay. And then, but yeah. there's a wrong number of args. So I'm going to just for the sake of time, do foo on all the others as well. No, nil. Maybe nil is just better. Because we're going to pass a three things into, and it shouldn't really be here. It should be a, th okay. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. Yeah. Um, I was going to suggest that this language has uh, var rx functions, but whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit too late now. Yeah. Okay. So in for pound, in for penny. Event. Yeah. Let's go in here, and we have the triggered, and it's there. Event, event. Oh, good. And here is the <laughs> event. <laughs> and this is the actual event. So, whoa, it's there. We have it. It's yep. excellent. Okay, so now we have no matching clause current event type. And I will do current event type F. I'm yeah. sorry, it's just F. Yeah, and, and then first. First event. Yeah. It's green. <laughs> it's green. It's green. So, let's see. I forgot what the uh, trigger we added. Uh, we added. Uh, we ha did we add it? No, we didn't. <laughs> we, but we can do it <laughs> while playing. Uh, we did. Oh, oh, set seed. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, yeah. So now, it, oh, I the thing should turn up at the right point when you after you reroll the dice. I really hope so. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. And at this point, it allows you to applaud if it works. And you only can if it works. If it doesn't work. You can boo us, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we won't cry much. <laughs> I <Woo -hoo>! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, <laughs> we're hoping to have episode one on per end of the day. We're not hoping to have, we will have we episode We will one. have episode one tomorrow, unless... Yeah, and then we will start, so if you're interested in learning more than you did today, then <laughs> In episode one, we'll start from scratch and we'll do everything piecemeal and maybe a little bit slower than today. So if you <laughs> thought this was somehow enjoyable and maybe want to learn something more, then you can check out the site tomorrow. Yep. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.